Hey everyone, welcome! Here we are, another competition. But we didn't actually do one last week. So, I didn't even stream last week, so it feels like it's been a while, right? We're back. Ready to do another competition. Uh, right now, I'm on casual. This is the no NFT build that I made. I just wanted to say one thing about this. One more thing that I didn't mention on the video. Just, just in case anybody's basing their build off this, right? You don't actually need this water pump. It doesn't do anything. Because uh, the slumber mill has a water drum from this one, right? I, I just wanted to mention that. You don't need this. This was here originally because I had a power plant here, but I didn't actually need that one. So you could build a second warehouse here if you want to. Or over here. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to point that out. But how's everybody doing? Rachel, good morning, Dub. Best of luck to everyone. Hello, Rachel. Welcome to Tweece. Hello. Drew Mercado says first. Well, I think you're third, but yes. Welcome, Drew. Ives, hello. Yes, we're back. Tabuka, hello. And it starts up in five minutes. I don't really have anything else to say on this one. Um, I already said everything that I needed to say on the build showcase. I... Could have gone back to this and improved it further, but I basically spent the rest of last night or this morning working on my own personal build and um, I'm ready for the competition. I, I think I'm going to do well considering all the NFTs I have and uh, I feel like I practiced enough to, uh, you know, possibly secure top 25. We'll see. We shall see. I'm your Z. Hello. Best of luck to everyone, he says. Salad. Hello. Good luck in the competition, of course. Uh, oh, I already went to the common ground mode. I sold everything I needed to sell. Uh, that town's still doing fine. But we'll check it out on Friday. Yeah, yeah. No, no reason to go back there. Uh, yeah, it starts up in three minutes, so I'll just wait it here. Yeah, there was a little bit of confusion with the start time because um, they they scheduled it to start originally. They scheduled it to start about an hour ago, but apparently that was a mistake. So they just updated the game like two hours ago to fix that. So it's starting when they announced that it would start. If they would have confirmed that... Um, I mean, basically, Farmer Michelle said they screwed up, <laughs> so everything's good. But if it turned out that it would have started an hour earlier, then um, I, I still would have been here. I, I mean, I would just I would have live streamed it right when it started, anyways. Yeah, double gala rewards. That's right, Kenny. Welcome, by the way. Unix, Jamar Leroy. Hello in Russian. Linda. Of the hero. <laughs> All right. Hey, Linda. Uh, they sent Salmon Sorges. I got rare. I first think that I missed one crucial day. Oh, well, at least you got the rare one, right? That's cool. Um, They must have just sent those out then. I didn't see them earlier. I'm, I'm checking to see if, if I got it or... No, I did get it. Okay, about half an hour ago. So I got the common and the rare salmon storage. Cool. Uh, might be pretty good, but like, you're still probably going to need to build the seafood warehouse for fishing metas. Because there's a lot of other stuff that you need to store inside the seafood warehouse. But th that's cool. Uh, sometimes I'll be looking down at my phone because I'm um, I'm also on Eternal Paradox. I mean, I'll, I'll focus on the competition, of course. But uh, if um, if I can on the side, I'll kill some monsters there. Got to grind. Morris, hello. You e Rob says good thing uh, S12 can't take my gold in Copycat World. There you go. <laughs> Uh, to tweet so the best plan is gold rush again i would think so 
because it, it's just so easy to set up gold rush and it, it earns you a good amount of money eventually you, you are going to craft the stuff that is cash boosted and that's fine you can sell that too but i would just stick to gold rush at the start i mean that's what i'm going to do but i have the nfts for it Wolf Valente says, let's go. Homeboy Gaming, hello. Good day and good luck. Carl Z says, howdy. Good luck all. Kaido, hey Dub, I just planned my build. April's busy time here and it's kind of sad they doubled the rewards this time. Yeah, I mean, I'm thankful that they doubled the rewards because they canceled the last competition or delayed it depending on how you see it. Supposedly it's a delay. Uh, I do hope we get the bicycle meta sometime this month, but we'll see how they work that out. Because, I mean, a lot of us practiced for it. But yeah, uh, we'll worry about that later. There we go. Town cannot be created. Well, anybody else get that issue? Oh, okay, never mind. False alarm. Maybe I was trying to, like, get into the server way too fast, and it didn't let me. Maybe there's some kind of like anti-cheat there or something. You know, maybe I accidentally try to get into the town too quick. Who knows? Uh, but we're here. But let me know, did anybody else get that uh, town cannot be created message? Mari Lo, good luck to all for sure. Uya, Rahi. Let me start off with some roads. If I can set up the road structure. If I can, like, I'm trying to, um, I'm going to try to follow the road structure I have. I, there's a bunch of trees, but I'm going to somehow make this work over here. This is where I want to set up my gold rush. Just going to sell this stuff since I don't need it. I am glad they put all this stuff on here just so I can sell it. Yeah, guys, whenever you're selling the oil seeps that you don't need, make sure you don't sell the one that you're actually going to use. I wouldn't want anyone to uh, accidentally sell the wrong oil seep. You should just go ahead and sell the oil seeps that you know you're not going to use right now. So you don't have that issue later. If you're not sure which oil seeps you're going to use, I guess that's an, a different story, right? Let's see if I can at least put a couple roads here. Yeah, screw those trees. I don't want those trees there. Okay. I can do like two little gold rushes here. One here and another one over here. Ice box, hello. Cool right now, hello. Thoughts on Sparky? I compared to the tavern, and the tavern is so much better than Sparky. Uh, I think Sparky is... I think they overpriced it for its utility. Or I think that its utility could be better. One of those two. I'm not planning to get Sparky. Although, I, I know what I said. I'm like, damn, it's a, it's a cool looking dog. I'm going to get it. Um, For $500, I think I'll pass. Um, I'll wait until it's like 50% off. That's just me. I didn't mean, put the warehouse before I uh fumble this and throw all the gold away. Uh, I'll turn all of them on. I'll set my dragon. Then I will set my jewelry, my tree. Then we'll go and put up the rest of the roads. Make lumber and all that.
Oh, I already put down the dragon. Uh, tree. Christmas tree. Way too overpriced. Yes, Benji. That's true. I'm still not in the town, says Rachel. Is is it giving you issues trying to get in, or, or what's up? But yeah, make sure you turn Update Town Offline on, just in case, you know, you get disconnected while you're working on this. Did I turn all these on? I think so. I'm going to try to set my jewelry in uh, the sides because I'm going to be using like subgrade roads so that way they don't they don't uh, get in the way I don't have to move them later okay so I think I have all my 10 green forges running running gold probably could rotate them And I'll go ahead and put both my warehouses down. And I will also put my tavern down because it makes all the workers move faster. I think that's that's all set up. So I'll delete the pawns. Oh, the corrupted bats. I'll turn those on for the crafting time reduction. A lot of stuff I have to turn on at the at the start. Oh, I kicked you out, now you're back? Okay. A oh, wipes! Hello! How are you? Can I ask cash boost gold rush rate? Gold is not cash boosted. Uh, if you check the announcement, and I talked about it in the video, but I think it was white rice, rice vinegar, and magic powder that was cash boosted. Which you will end up doing anyways whenever you're working your way towards the joke gift parcel. But it's not something that you can immediately do at the start. There's no way to really rush those without NFTs. If you have NFTs, then there is a way. But uh, for most players, like, you know, without that many NFTs, I, I just don't recommend it. I would say just start off with gold. Can't go wrong with gold rush. If you like doing wool rush, you could do wool, I suppose. I mean, I, I think by now, most people would say gold is more cash. Maybe slightly harder to set up, but it is more cash. This build won't take long. Like, it's not that expensive. And I don't need a crazy amount of lumber. Plus, at least for me, it'll be pretty easy to make the lumber. So, yeah, I, I would think I can finish it within like two hours. Which means I have more time to make these joke boxes. These fools boxes. Uh, Mark Barbary, hello, welcome. Anyone having issue accessing the game? Possibly. Um, what issue are you getting, Mark? I mean, I'm not having an issue right now, but like whenever I try to get in at first, it said I cannot create a town. Not sure why. Oh, I thought I built it. I removed these too soon. I want to set up my lumber rush where I'm going to, you know, be making lumber anyways, because I'm going to make a lot of lumber for the wooden boxes. Wise, I think gold is always good. You could definitely do that for this one.
Disconnecting stream coming five minutes. Oh. I'm not sure why. I don't know if anybody else is having that issue here. Uh, it's better if I get the, the pawns out of the way. Yeah, no problem, my wife. Okay, I think that's all the pawns, just so I don't have to build them later. Um, oh yeah. Well, I'm still gonna have to like mess with my water towers, because whenever I build the rice fields, right, those need 10 water to be built, but they only need 8 water to grow. No, to craft husk rice. I'm already at a million. Over a million. Uh, we'll see if I can... Sp nah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to spend this money fast enough, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm doing this a little too slow. But I also don't want to mess up. Okay, so... Lumber? I need the water drums, so that's where the diamond water pump comes in. And I also need energy... Which, not only do I need the solar panel there, I will need the diamond charge station. Uh, doesn't really matter where right now, just as long as it's placed. So I can double the energy that this gives. Okay, now I'm making lumber. Threaded blades and great woodlands. Okay. Yeah, I'll make lumber with... Oh, well, I'll also need wood eventually, but... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Juniors. Let's put this one here for now. And of course, I need my trees. Juxies, welcome! Good luck for this double reward, for sure. So I'm gonna try to aim for top 25. I think I can do it. I, I think I got top 25, if nothing goes wrong. But yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Because uh, at first I was thinking top 50, uh, I kind of suck at windmill metas. Not really. But um, I, I did buy the, the uh, light circus. That helps significantly with the windmills. So I'm going to be using those in this. And I would think with that helping me out, uh, I should be able to get top 25. Uh, it would be crazy if that wouldn't be enough.
Can I just sell the gasoline? Yeah, I'll just go ahead and sell it. Get rid of this. White Fang, hello. What rate would you estimate to make top 225 at least? Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, I no NFT. You could probably do 40-ish. Maybe... No, it's about 40-ish. So, let's say... Hmm, top 225... Maybe like somewhere between 70 to 80 per hour. I want to say 80 per hour. Somewhere around there. Careful not to fall asleep though. I actually I only set up like maybe Maybe three hours? Maybe four? It's kind of my fault, though, because I, I stay up practicing this. And um, I'm not just, like, practicing my build. I'm also playing Eternal Paradox. And there's a lot of stuff right now happening in Eternal Paradox. Um, I'm sure some of you know that. But, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel good right now. I'm excited to do this competition. And it, it feels fast paced. Like, I'm not gonna burn this money fast enough. I should focus on the loggers first so I can keep getting more wood. You know, I, I realized I haven't even put down any crane bots to even build anything yet. So, yeah, I, I need to put down the crane bots. Those will be where I have my trees and everything over here. Oh, the, the wood storage. Just a basic wood storage here somewhere. Put it right there for now. Bots. Actually, I'll put the bots where I have my salt fields. My salt fields will be in this corner. So although I do, you know, feel sleepy, uh, I don't, I, I feel good enough. Like, I'm not going to fall asleep. Okay, I don't need that oil seep. You know what's crazy? When do I ever use an oil seep, guys? I always sell them, right? I'm actually keeping this oil seep. I am going to use one of them. That's crazy. I don't remember the last time I used an oil seep for my own designs. With all the NFTs I have. You need coffee? I was thinking about that too, Tabuka. Although, uh, I I've said this before, I, I don't really drink a lot of coffee. I try, I don't want to get in the habit of that, you know? Nothing wrong with it, like, uh, it's, it's cool. But I try to avoid it. If I'm desperate, I'll drink coffee. Or if I just, I'm really in the mood for coffee. Okay, I need energy. So, yeah, let's start making that. 
After I make those, I want to make the power plant. Because once I make the power plant, I can get a lot of energy going. I'm going to make it here. Because uh, that's where my power plant's going to be. Maybe I can get them to build it first. Since it's right next to the energy storage. We'll see how that works. Have fresh coffee I made just before you start to stream in the app. Coffee oh, addict. <laughs> yeah. You hear that a lot, the coffee addicts. No, like I, I have energy drinks too in the fridge, but I try not to drink them unless I absolutely feel like I have to. Because I've known people before that drink an energy drink every day. No, actually, I still do. Yeah, I know one person that, that drinks an energy drink maybe every day, maybe every other day. But that's, I mean, that's a lot. Uh, Tuga says, I love coffee so much. First thing at the morning, I do coffee and I still have to drink for about two to three hours. And after I take my nap, I drink coffee. <laughs> that, that's a lot, Tuga. Energy drinks are poison? Hmm. Yeah, uh, maybe. Maybe. People that drink energy drinks would probably disagree with you. I mean, you, you shouldn't... I, I think you shouldn't be drinking them every day. But every once in a while is okay. Uh, just to explain the aquifers right now, this one is for my refineries that are going to make petroleum and jet fuel. This one is for the refineries as well as bakeries for the jam. Same thing with this one, refineries, bakeries for the jam. This one's just for the bakeries making jam. And yeah, that's all the aquifers I'm going to be using so I can have full passive water drums. Do all those things that require it. Uh, this is giving passive water drums for the ones making lumber. All the other lumber mills, they don't need water drums. Because they'll be making the wooden boxes. Martin, welcome. A little bit late. No problem, man. Uh, Amir, hopefully he's drinking a lot of water with those. Yeah, <laughs> I hope. I like drinking water mostly. Like, uh, I mean, you'll see me drink water a lot. I should drink some right now. It's good to drink water. I don't really bother like using a container for my water. Um, I mean, I just keep grabbing water bottles anyways. Yeah, stay hydrated. Drink water. Okay, so this is making energy and with the... This legendary station... Legendary Generation Station, I can make energy really quickly. So that, that'll help me, you know, catch up with that energy requirement. So once again, focus on the loggers. Try to make all those first. I need loggers here too, actually. So I'll move these. Uh, over here, I guess. I'll, I'll keep moving that because that's actually supposed to go here. 
I'll move this as well. keep my bots busy uh, I'm trying to think if I did I put all the roads down I think I did yeah that's my road structure guys kind of all over like I've done this before if, you, if you've seen my competition streams I've done this before like roads like this and it'll let me place down a lot of buildings this seems to be like the most efficient way to do the builds Especially if you have NFTs with uh, walking movement speed bonuses. Feels like you really don't need that much roads with this. Now without NFTs, maybe this is still more efficient. Can't say I've tested this road layout without any NFTs. But I mean, wh whenever I do the build showcases, I don't think I'm gonna do it this way like sure this would probably be more efficient and whenever you work on your own designs I would suggest practicing with this kind of road structure but uh just to keep it simple on the build showcases that I do I'm just gonna do a bunch of roads but yeah this is like more expert road setups I guess uh, Martin says, so you're getting the dog, often you say no, and later, guess what I got? Uh, Martin? <laughs> okay, I'm not getting the dog, but there's no promises, okay? <laughs> this is pretty funny, though. I like dogs, though. Uh, Tabuka says, I have to say, this animal brings a lot of cash. Maybe I can reach that 9 million in a couple hours. With the animals you started with, or what? Kakashi, light. Thank you. Uh, Juxies, I always do in subgraded. The meta need a lot of windmills and help a lot. That's good, yeah. It works, huh? Uh, I know they're still building these, but... Let's... Uh, I'll make the refineries, because those only require wood be pretty easy to build the windmills would be easy also the bakeries will take a while yeah yeah um it's a good guess martin yeah I mean, I, I'm not going to say there's no chance that I'm not going to get Sparky the Dubstep Dog. I, anything's possible. You almost have passive copper, silver, and gold. It is actually possible to get passive copper, silver, and gold already. I can't do the copper, but if you have five of the artisan guild nfts then you can get five passive copper i have seen this done like i've seen a build that that accomplishes that but i mean five of these that, that's a lot i'm fine with just one it helps so much with the passive silver for jewelry metas uh not interested in getting five but it's already possible Man, it feels like I could build the whole town already. It's been like half an hour. What? Have people already sold boxes? No? Okay. Kind of feels like Paramin or Nacho would already have sold their first batch by now.
gonna build the tractors. I'm gonna build everything. We'll see. See how long it takes to for everything to finish at the same time. <laughs> I don't think I run out of money this time, Martin. I there's no way that'll happen. Haunted maze for the uh, salty. Okay, I don't think I need these. There is uh, like one adjustment that I'm doing that I didn't practice for my competition build. So we'll see if that actually works out. Oh yeah, like a, a Tsubuka, I'm not going to be able to build this fast enough. But actually, how many, how much does the bakery cost? No, even though if I do all the bakeries, I still won't run out of money. Let me do the windmills. Oh, the mixing tents. Yeah, 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 the mixing tents. Okay, we'll see. I'll do some of the windmills and I'll do the mixing tents and the sauce facilities because those are kind of expensive. We'll see if we can break the bank. Remix intents. Those are actually expensive. They are. Martin, I think I lied. I think I'm gonna run out of money. This junior is actually supposed to go here. Juxi says, finally, I have a chance to see dub competition build a refinery. Yeah, I never build refineries. You're right. Uh, well, that's not really true, actually. There was that one time uh, I needed it to make gasoline because the trade times were too high. Um, so yeah, I actually have, I have built a refinery before. It just doesn't happen very often. Utilizing the oil seep in a competition build though. I've not done that in a very, very long time. Like since I started playing, I guess, but since before I had the haunted wing and then I traded it out for the haunted porch. Yeah, that was a long time ago. La la la. Oh, watch this, Martin. Look. Look here. Look at my cash right now. I'm out of money. <laughs> I am out of money. It happened again. I guess it wasn't enough. It almost was, though. 
I'm gonna use a strawberry storage uh to you know for the bakery right because everything else is gonna go into the ground silo and that's gonna be closer to the windmills making salt no I'm actually I'm not using my porch you you would think I I would because it makes pumpkins and everything but I'm not using the haunted porch JJ, welcome. What raid are you aiming for this time? Actually, nobody's asked yet. Um, my practice build did 192 per hour. That's where it peaked. And I'm making one more adjustment to this that maybe can push it to 200. I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what happens. It, it could lower the production rate. I don't know yet. But that would be the goal. At least 190 per hour. Which is a, a lot. There's one more sauce that's lady right there. Well, Juicy's, I just said 190. But did you actually guess that before I said it? If so, that is pretty impressive. I'll make the lumber mills. Oh, that's not a lumber mill. Uh, not that spot. Uh, okay, I. I still need more money before I can make more lumber mills and the boxing. Basically, uh, how much are the boxing? Two twenty-five k. Okay. Maybe like another two mil. I do have two bakery NFTs. So uh, I'll use those, right? So I don't need to build those. Oh, that's a logger. Why did it? Why did I forget to build the logger there? Uh, well, Martin, you, you knew my rate, but that's because I share info on my competitive builds to the Super Dub Club supporters as a special perk. So that's probably why you knew my rate, right? But I, I didn't actually say it publicly anywhere else. I can just put, I, I can place down my, my uh, sugar cane stand. So that's what I was going to do. One second. These are coming in so helpful on this one. So I managed to make myself a design that is full passive sugarcane using five Christmas sugarcane stands. So I'm not going to have any sugarcane fields. Although if I wanted to uh, push for higher production rates, it would be smart of me to use a sugarcane field, but I, I just don't even want to deal with sugarcane like I don't want any going to the silo so I'm just sticking to full passive sugarcane
And, um... Right, the circuits. Yeah, the circus. I have three of them. I'm gonna keep two. We'll see what happens to the third one, right? Ah, some of you guys know. Some of you guys know what will happen to the third one. But uh, yeah, I'll be using three light circus for this competition. Such a clutch enough to baby beacons, as uh, O-Town calls them. Or mini beacons, as some of us call them. So most of these windmills won't have any shade, because this removes the shade from them. I have a few windmills that I'm going to... Well, they will have shade, right? Like these two. And this one. And I'm going to make another one over here. That's part of the 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 tweak that I haven't tested that I that I want to try out to get myself a little bit more salt and sugar because I that's kind of what's keeping me from trying to reach 200 per hour so we'll see if that ends up working or not and you see how um I could have a windmill here and it could have been you know green craft timer because there's no shade but i need to set up my stands in a very specific way where i would have full passive sugarcane to all of these windmills so i am kind of wasting valuable no shade space by having them in these locations but i mean this is at least for me, it is more convenient. Like I said, I don't want to have to deal with making a sugarcane field and having them manually pick up sugarcane, even if it's just like one or two of the windmills. So I'll just do it this way. So, Twice, I think it's better we call them the Panner Bug. <laughs> uh, that's basically what that did, huh? Get rid of the, the shade just like this. I'm waiting on energy? Am I really? No, I think it's just that I have so much other stuff to build. That's probably it. Uh, I, I, I have plenty of energy here. Well, they're gonna go here, right? Nah, uh, I'll worry about that later. Yeah. Stop making energy. I'll rotate these. I could start making jet fuel, but I'm gonna hold off because then there's smoke all over the place and I can't see. I mean, I'll, I'll turn the ones on that are making jet fuel, but not the petroleum ones. Okay, the windmills that will be making salt should be facing the silo. All these other windmills will make sugar and they'll face this general area with the storehouse here. Oh. No, it doesn't really matter. Just, I don't think the, the way they face really, really matters here. Not completely sure. We'll see how the sugar rate looks like later. The rotation of these doesn't really matter either. I do want these to face the the trees, at least the ones that are going to be making lumber.
Gonna put in the rest of the trees. I could be making more lumber, huh? Let's have this one make lumber as well. Let's have both of these make lumber. Oh, the rice fields. I want to move this somewhere else. I'm not going to use it in the end, but uh, I'll move the witch shed over here. Let's to build these. Oh, I'm still missing water on those. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, you know what I heard? We might be making sandwiches next week. So, sandwiches, I assume, with tomatoes and lettuce, cheese. Don't know if they'll have ham. I don't think so. How do you guys, like, prepare sandwiches? Because I'm pretty sure it's different for... I mean, everybody has their own tastes. Uh, some people don't like tomatoes. For me, it would be tomatoes. A uh, sandwich would have cheese, ham, tomatoes, lettuce, avocado. Subway restaurant inbound. I feel like if they add a... If they do add sandwiches, I feel like it would be made at the Italian restaurant, but I don't know. Maybe they could add a building that specializes in only making sandwiches. Perhaps it's made in the cafe. Uh, any of that could be possible. Hamburger? Um, I mean, I kind of don't think it's hamburger. It's Where, Where's the ham going to come from? Where's the chicken? <laughs> the chicken, yeah, where's the chicken gonna come from? Um, it could be like, you know, there's like burgers that don't use like meat. I don't even know if you can call them burgers. I, I guess there's like plant-based burgers too, right? What, you think we're gonna be making those? It's a salmon patty? It's possible, yes, there are also f the fish burgers. So, uh, I mean, it, it's a good guess, honestly, considering they just gave us the salmon storage. Watch B Rob is right. Because I, I would not have expected it, uh, them to make like a salmon patty, I thought it was just going to be a regular sandwich. Like veggies. Yeah, avocado is good on sandwiches. Uh, cows for meat instead of milk. But they said they're not going to do that. There's not going to be any animal butchering. Plant base would need a whole line of products in first, I think. Perhaps. 
Look at the official recipe book. Uh, Farmer Michelle put a leak thick between salmon and and salt. Did not know that. I'll have to check that uh, in a moment. Oh. Let me actually just check it now. I got a bunch of stuff building here. Uh, I think I'm good on cash too. So once all that stuff gets built, I can, you know, build what's missing to finish this, this whole build. It's too early for leaks, I thought, e Rob, but let's see. Leak. Salmon nigiri. Leak. Salt. So salmon patty. Damn, B-Rob's onto something. It probably is salmon patty. Yeah, only because um because of that. Yeah. Good catch. Yeah, prepare to make salmon patties. I assume in the sushi restaurant. They can make it, sell something to Barter Town, and get the ham in return. I mean, that the ham's gotta come from some, you know... Uh, I don't know. I'm not even gonna argue with that. I'm here <laughs> They're not gonna do that, though. Plus the salmon storage adds it all up. It does. It actually does. I'm out of energy, huh? Okay, yeah. I was wondering. So let me make more energy. These are also waiting on energy. Alright. I can get rid of my gold rush now. Put my crane bots to work. Make the boxing facilities. Doesn't go there. That goes here. All this stuff is, well, lumber mills. Lumber mills that are going to be making the wooden box. Going to be a windmill. Okay, so I'm not making pumpkins. I'm not going to have master wizards. You would think I would because I'm, uh, you know, you need to make magic powder. There's one NFC that's really freaking overpowered for this, even maybe, okay, maybe not as overpowered as the light circus. But you know how we need just one magic powder for this? Well, the fireworks tower actually gives one passive magic powder, which most people thought this wasn't very useful because the only other craft that requires magic powder is what was it enchanted fireworks and i think that requires five so one magic powder doesn't help that much but for this meta one passive magic powder is is freaking insane so i'm sure all the like people in the very very top they, they're using a fireworks sour and you really only need one for this um, I I am borrowing this one. I don't actually own this one. So this NFC is going to help out like a lot. 
yeah um still i i don't think the fireworks tower is very useful in many competitions this just happened to be one of the competitions where it shines so that is cool that they did that If you ask me, I would rather get another one of the Light Circus than the, the Fireworks Sour. I don't even remember how much they sold this for. Probably around the same price. I know it was on sale recently, too. Alright, so let's turn some of this stuff on. Three of these making white rice. They have the passive energy from this power plant it has a far reach because i have the diamond charge station to double the passive energy the sauce facilities i have three for tomato paste Then I have three for pasta sauce. And the other three are for rice vinegar, but two of them are still getting built. Yeah, and the ones making rice vinegar, they got the two baths of water that they need. And the passive sugar cane from this sugar cane stand. I get rid of the earrings since I don't actually need them. I can keep the oopsie though. I'll go ahead and put my trophy over here too. The trophy. <laughs> I hate when this happens. It won't let me place it. Okay. Okay, so those are turned on. Um okay, this is almost done. I'll turn on all my bakeries. All of them will be making jam. So these four will have all passive strawberries. Because the because of the Valentine's Day stands. Valentine's stands. These two will have nine passive strawberries, and these two will have eight passive strawberries. So those will have to pick up strawberries from the strawberry storage. They all have passive water drums, and they will all pick up sugar from this storehouse. And they'll store the jam right here. Okay, next, the salt. So all of these will make salt and this one as well. I'm going to get rid of this. They could just store the energy over here. Actually, I still need a lot of energy though. No, yeah, never mind. Apparently, I still need a lot of energy, so I'll keep this here a little while longer. But that that's going to be a windmill as well. I should have just kept making energy. Tomato farm right there. Right, so one hour into the competition, I am almost completely done. 
Let's see who's selling them. Oh, it looks like Guillermo sold the first batch. Nice. Look at that. Faster than everybody else here. That needs energy, so these. I think that's all the buildings. I'm trying to think if there's something I missed. All those crane bots will be salt fields. They all have passive salty from the Haunted Maze Zone 3. These will all make wood boxes. I could turn them on now. It's just... I don't really need to. No, okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and turn them on. Might as well. So only these three will make lumber. All the other ones will make wooden box. I'm not going to turn this one on because I might not actually need this one. We'll see. If, if I'm overproducing a lot of wooden boxes, there's no point in having that one on. Okay, and I'll turn on the ones making sugar. I'll just do that. Start making some boxes. And yeah, I'll go ahead and turn on the whole petroleum and jet fuel production. Well, number mail doesn't have passive energy. That's interesting. I'm going to check that right now. Okay, these all have the passive crude oil, energy, and water drums that they need. Well, same, things, same thing with the ones making jet fuel. Rice vinegar, these two are also making rice vinegar, water, and sugarcane, yep. Energy. You're right. That's an oversight on my part. I don't actually need that one. Um, I don't need this one either. Wow, okay. Thank you, Juxies. That's funny, because I practiced with those two there. But it turns out I don't even need them. Um, really, though, this one too? 
that's interesting okay i have this potentially let me see let me check something because i'm checking my visualizer whenever i build this but i also take pictures Thank you, uh, Juxies. Um, I made a small mistake there. No problem. Good catch, Juxies. Thank you so much. Uh, so here's what happened. The solar panel, it wasn't actually supposed to go in that spot. Uh, there we go. That's a very good catch. I appreciate that. So this does actually have the energy it needs. Ah, or lumber. Or wooden box. There we go. Wooden box, wooden box. Boom, there we go. Uh, I need to make a lumber mill there. And you still got the two passive energy for all of these. Yep. Checks out. I accidentally put this here. This is actually supposed to go here. And I had it wrong on the visualizer too. What I get for moving stuff around. But it's good. We got that covered. The funny thing is, I probably still would have made enough wooden boxes. Oh, well, no, actually, I turned this one off. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Make sure to turn these on. These are actually supposed to face the warehouse. So, yeah. This, this is not facing the warehouse. No, it's backwards. Okay, now it is. Waiting on jet fuel. Right, so yeah, they have the one magic powder passive from the fireworks tower. So they got to pick up jam from here. Jet fuel from here. Pasta sauce will most likely be in the storehouse over here. Kind of far. I don't think I need any more energy, so I'll get rid of this. Build the windmill. I think the rotation matters on this. I'll just keep it like that. Okay, that's making salt. I'm done. I just gotta place down the salt fields and the tomato farm, but yeah, I think I'm done. Damn, this one's a really quick if that's the case. Yeah, I still gotta test it because this is like a untested tweak that I'm doing here. Okay, so these are all on the fastest crap times. might have too many trackers like maybe it's one or two too many um i didn't want to really mess with the tracker quantity uh what i did add is one more log compared to when when i was originally practicing this
I need to stop making energy. Yeah, whenever I sell my stack box, I want to flush it. So I, uh, I'd rather there not be energy there. Still red even with fastest craft time. The color is a bug. It should be fastest craft time. It's 30 seconds. See? 30 seconds is the fastest craft time. Just the bug with the uh, color. This will take in Rhine, Husk Rice. It's not supposed to have strawberries. I'm, uh, this is cool. Let me, okay, let me start adding stuff to auto sell. So, yeah, strawberries at 35, stack box 25. Most of these items will be on 30. Uh, no, I don't need to auto sell lumber. That, that'll just stack up to 100 eventually, since I'm overproducing it. This shouldn't overproduce. Just in case I'm at it. Yeah, I would suggest adding petroleum on auto cell just in case. There's no reason to auto sell jet fuel. I'll do it anyways, but um, I'm going to be using it. Uh, I'm going to be overproducing it, actually. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Thirty, thirty. Everything on 30, that way I can keep five extra items. Not the jam. I don't need an auto sell jam, but I will at a very high number at 55. But yeah, I just don't need to. Okay. I'm trying to add brine here, but I might not be able to add it. No, I added lumber. Dang. Can't wait for the day they update this. Make it easier to add items here. What else am I missing? Let's just assume that uh, I'm good right now. Okay, 30. Oh, apparently I'm not 30. There we go. I think that's that's good. I mean, it, of course, I'll check it again in like two hours to make sure nothing gets jammed. Okay, sold. Flush, because I don't want the energy. Uh, I should probably reset the production monitor, huh? What's what's it saying? 183? That's, that's really good. I like to see that. But let's reset it. Get the actual production. The auto trade update, one of the many things they said they want to do. But it's not priority. Oh, this one's not on. Yeah, I just noticed that. Oh, that's the one I just built. Yeah, that's right. That's why it wasn't on. Yeah, this one is off on purpose. Because I don't think I need it.
sell it uh stuff you bought an odia uh, not yet i do want one i just haven't bought it yet uh, i seen what they're going for now on nft harbor and it's about what i expected them to go for honestly around the 250 dollar range i think they might uh, some people may actually be selling them for cheaper than that but yeah, that, that's kind of funny that that is the price I expected it to be at. And that that's roughly the price I do want to buy it for. I just haven't done it yet. Um, not really in a rush to until they actually add the, the mechanics where you can start a guild. Um, also, another thing is the way we're going to do the groups in the dub guild. I don't think I should be leading the one that's like the very top team. But that's probably something that I should ask the actual guild. I feel like it should be somebody that owns a lot of nodes. Because there's a possibility that that person can merge all the nodes together. Make a very strong node with more utility. And that would benefit the top guild more. I don't exactly know yet. But that's one thing to consider. But if we really need to, I mean, I'll run the group for the top team. Uh, if not... I will just run a random group that anyone can join, or maybe I'll prioritize laying the, my supporters in, you know? That way they can borrow some NFTs that I don't use on some competitions. Usually I use as many of the NFTs that I can use, but you know. And if I can, I'll kind of hop back and forth between joining the top team in some competitions and just having my own guild group that you know people can join you know we we just don't know like enough information on what would be best right now so i'm still waiting on that info Juxi says yeah because of auto sell i mess up my golden heart competition i'm wait to add the gold plated heart for two hours and can't add it but after my fast forward town dead because my storage pool gold plated yeah that sucks That's why you have to check it a little more often, I guess, especially the first couple hours. I mean, like, did I add rice vinegar? I don't remember adding it. No, I did add it, though. Alright, gotta wait a couple minutes to get an idea of the rates. Oh, another thing. Um, like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need more strawberries. I am pretty sure about that. Strawberries is gonna be a little bit difficult to balance because if I make too many strawberries, I'll make too much jam. Then I won't have enough sugar for the pasta sauce. But like right now, I might not be making enough strawberries. That's one thing I'm going to watch out for. Not really making that much sugar. Well, I mean, it's only been five minutes, but... Uh, doesn't seem like it's making enough. Actually, it's waiting on wood. Shouldn't even be waiting on wood. Let's see. Makes me wonder. I do have too many trees. Like, I really don't need this many. I could probably add another logger and it would be more efficient. I'll give it a couple minutes before I decide that, but it's kind of strange that it doesn't seem to be making it enough. Five second craft time. I do have the tavern, corrupted packs. Oh, I don't even have all the NFTs on. I'm so silly. Yeah, let me turn on the actual effect cards. <laughs> I never went here and actually turned them on. That's funny. I'm doing so good without them. I I mean I turned on the Great Woodlands, so that one's not an issue. 
but I gotta turn on the ones for like the the, the mixing sense. Gourmet delights for the sauce facilities. Gift the baker. Gusty wind, of course. No wonder. Yeah, yeah. The sugar was lower than expected because I didn't have those two on. The windmill related ones. Yeah, and those those NFTs make a huge difference. Make sure I have it. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think that was it. Oh, it was still managing to do 170 per hour. So I'll reset the production monitor once more. Oh, 190 on sauce. There you go. Yeah, I'll reset it. Do another test, this time with the proper stuff on the windmills. If I'm not getting wood to the windmills fast enough, I will add yet another logger. And I would build that right here because I don't think I need that lumber mill. Okay, so I'm top 10 right now. I'm selling that one batch of boxes. Very good. On track for top 25. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna wait a couple minutes to let this run. I'll probably stream for the next half hour, I think. Should be enough time to test this. We'll see if I actually make that adjustment with the logger house and the strawberry field. Yeah, the reason I said next week might be sandwiches is because somebody did share the new NFT that that's going to come out for the next competition. It was basically uh, a stand that gives two passive lettuce heads. I think that's what it said. So they're going to be adding lettuce. Which usually goes on the sandwich tray. Right? Did not expect it to possibly be a salmon patty, but yeah, could be. I'm assuming we'll need milk or cheese on the patty. Hence why the dog would be relevant to make the ATVs and the cows move faster. That's kind of, so that's speculation, right? I don't really know for sure. Yeah, another passive thing. At one point, Farmer Michelle did say that eventually everything will probably have a pass thing. Checking Discord for that one roadmap she shared. With the uh the competitions coming up. Salad says if everything is passive, then where are the crops? Well then you'll just need buildings. I mean, if you have enough stands for this build right here, you won't need, you don't need pumpkins, sugarcane fields, tomato farms, 
strawberry fields. If you have enough sands, you, you can get rid of all of those. Like, I'm not using sugar cane or pumpkins. I'm using tomato farms because I don't have the the one that gives you passive tomatoes. I don't think it's very worth it. And uh, I, I still need to make valent uh, strawberries because I don't have a third Valentine's Day stand. Valentine's stand. Um, if I had a third one, then I wouldn't need to make any strawberries at all. There's no rice husk stand. Oh, I found it. See if I can get it pulled up here. That's yeah, already on there. Well, bicycles didn't happen. April Fool's week. Yep. So we're making the joke gift parcel next week. New content, a savory surprise between two toasty companions. So a patty or a sandwich. The week after that, new content, a touch of crimson charm. That's a red steel. Maybe there's more to it, but it's at it has something to do with red steel. It's either just red steel or it's something that requires red steel. And sushi boats. Unless they decide to make that bicycles or something. Who knows? I'm not really sure what the competition for the first week of May would be. A pillow? Pillows are made, like, with cotton, right? Fluffy, maybe, maybe with cotton. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking something like a lava lamp or the cozy glow. Nah, um... I don't know how common... <laughs> uh, I got this many.